Horses played is standard tune-in with a capo on the second fret. The main riff for this song is based around an A bass chord. I'm going to use the first finger bar on the D, G and B strings in the second fret. I'm going to play A open, D, G, D. Then I'm going to hammer on from open A to fifth fret on the A. So I'm going to play the fifth fret of the A again before jumping up to the B string in the second fret. And then pulling off five to four on the A string. That's the whole riff. So slowly we have the picking on the A chord, and the hammer on on the A, play the fifth again, jump up to the B, and the pull off. And more up to speed. For the song, we have a C sharp power chord at the second fret of the A string, an E power chord at the fifth fret of the A string, a B power chord open on the A string, then to a full E major shape, which is like an F sharp chord. For the strumming, we're going to strum down, 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 and that rhythm is going to stay consistent throughout the entire song. So for the C sharp, down, 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 down. To the E chord, down, 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 and that's what B chord or A shape, down, 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 and then the F sharp chord, that E major shape. Okay, so C sharp. to a G shape which is acting like an A major chord, same rhythm, we've got the full G chord here with the third finger and the pinky finger down on the third frets of the high E and B strings. That's for two bars before we go back to our E power chord at the fifth fret of the A string. Again for two bars. You'll notice on the live version that sometimes that last power chord E is voiced up here like this. So you have 10th fret on the low E string with the thumb relative to capo. So you've got 12th fret on the D, 11th fret on the G, 10th fret on the B. So coming out of the verse slowly would sound like this. We have the C sharp. section link into the solo. It's a G sharp power chord, a half a bar, down to that E shape, that F sharp chord, half a bar again, and then to an actual D shape or an E major chord again. For a full bar. So it's that G sharp, F sharp and that E shape, then that E chord using the D shape. That repeats. Last time through, instead of going to that D-shaped E, we go up to that alternative E-shaped voicing up here as well. And this is where the solo section starts. So for the little solo section, we have open D, 11th fret on the G, 10th fret on the B, relative to same rhythms we've used for the rest of the song. Down, 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 down. And the second bar we have down, 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 down. And then instead of the down, up, down, we just have another single strum down. But we're going to add our third finger to the 12th fret of the B string there. Okay, so. Then we go down to 9 on the G, 9 on the B relative to capo. Open D still ringing out, and we've got the same strumming for the first bar. That's the same, then we have down on the 9 and 9, down again, we're going to add the 10th fret of the B, and then down again, go back to the 9th on the B. So, okay, so we 
we slide that down to 7 and 7, same again. This time we've got down on the 7 and 7, then we go down to the 6th fret on the G string this time, keeping the 7 on the B. So down, down. Okay, so. And we slide this down to 3 on the B and 2 on the G, and we've got this for one bar, normal rhythm. So two and two, two on the B, two on the G. Same rhythm as normal, so the whole thing. Good luck jamming along with this fantastic song. You can find a free PDF for the tab on my website. I'll pop the link in the description. Good luck, happy practicing, and take care.